This is the Agape Orphanage outside of Durban, a place where children love to sing. The moment I decided to study in South Africa, I made it a mission to visit Agape before I left the country, and I'm so glad I did. You see, I heard about Agape through the Keep a Child Alive organization at the University of Oklahoma. Keep a Child Alive is the organization founded by Alicia Keys that supports AIDS orphans in Africa. You may remember my visit to a KCA site in Kenya from an earlier video. Through KCA, I saw an incredible documentary called We Are Together, or Tina Simunye. It's about how singing gives the Agape children a brighter future. Paul Taylor, who, 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 who made the documentary We Are Together, came here as a volunteer. He saw how our director Zota was struggling by then. She had a, a house full of kids and nobody was supporting those kids. And he talked to Zota and they agreed that if they made the film, the children will be exposed. They, many people overseas will get to know about the orphanage, so help will come. I don't want to give away the plot of the film, but let's just say the children have been exposed to the world and help did come. They've performed in New York, California, and London and met a number of celebrities. Through the movie, the children have been exposed to people like Alicia Keys, Bono. The first thing we did when reaching Agape was sit down and watch We Are Together with the kids whose lives it showcases. This movie is about our lives, like what happened to us. Yeah, and it's called We Are Together, which means Tina Simone. You raise your hand if you're in the movie. Watching the movie alongside the kids who had inspired me to come to Agape was quite an amazing experience. I sat right next to Mbali, who's a feisty little seven-year-old in the movie, but is taller now and 11. Later on, I interviewed Mbali, and she gave me a tour of the orphanage. This is a boy's room? This is a boy's room, yeah. Say, they love it. This is a girl's bathroom. This is a girl's room. This is a hall we used to study into. We study into it and watch TV and all these things. Barbie Nutcracker. My sister has this movie. I want to sing. Because when I'm small, I start singing. That's why. That's why. That when they think about what happened to them, what made them to be in a place like this, they become sad and sometimes they become mean to other children. But the minute you talk about singing to them, everything just, they, they, they just become excited. The Agape children have also recorded a CD, which I listen to quite often. One of my favorite songs is Picoco, or Peacock, sung by Mbali. <laughs> we went to the zoo and you saw the peacock. And they say I must sing peacock. And I sing, and I sing peacock. And the peacock say, you. <laughs> <laughs> but can you still sing as high as you do in Picoco? Can you still sing that high? Sometimes I try. It must start. Okay, can I start? Okay, okay. Oh, my. Oh, Favorite thing that you saw in New York? Times Square. Times Square. Me. 
I have not even been to New York. It's, it's New York. Um, there's many people walking down the streets. But here, just few. Just few. What do you think? Are they listening to you? Maybe yes, maybe not. <laughs> What is that like for you to know that we're listening to your voice? I feel like happy, like a pop star. All the kids at Agape were very good in English, but in the documentary, they all speak Zulu. Pamela told me that now, after the movie, the kids are able to enroll in a much better school where they're able to learn English. The money that comes from the CD sales and documentary, it, it pays for their education. Here's me and Hans, we're hiding in the back of the school bus. It's picking up the agape kids from school. So when yes. they come on, we're gonna surprise them. Boom! I saw you! <laughs> <laughs> you saw us! Shh, don't let anyone else know. Boom! Yeah. Snuggle goo! Snuggle goo! Fine! It's kind of cramped. My name is Toby C. My grade is grade three. I saw the picture in her office of Bono putting his sunglasses on you. Tell me, what was that like? It was very great. Then I wear Bono's glasses. I don't need money. I don't need cars. Get you my own. I want to be a pilot. A dentist. You want to be a, a pilot dentist? No, I want to be a dentist. It's amazing what's been happening with the, with the children since the, the documentary was, was, was shown to the world. Yeah. Just this past June, the Agape children performed in London at Nelson Mandela's 90th birthday concert, a fundraiser for his 46664 Foundation to fight HIV AIDS. With that picture of just Agape kids and Matiba. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. The time we spent at Agape is one of the best memories I will have of South Africa. <laughs> These orphans are so full of hope, joy, and love. I cannot wait to go back and visit them again. Our last night at Agape, the children sang Tina Simunye, or We Are Together for Us. It was incredible. I want to personally ask you to visit wearetogether.org and purchase the documentary about these kids, or a CD of their music. You will be blown away by their story, and your purchase will help fund their education. If you're ever in South Africa, you should make a point to volunteer at this wonderful place. A place of refuge for children orphaned by AIDS. A place that reminds us that in life, we are together. <laughs>